It's this awesome calendar activity that we're going to work on every day that we're together. How does that sound? Good. All right. And this calendar activity, we are going to practice our number of the day. And we're going to practice ways that we can make the number. How does that sound? Good. All right. So here we go. So I'm going to share with you the calendar that I made. Thumbs up if you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah, but yes, I can. Okay. So today, boys and girls, is August 10th. It's our first day of school. What number is it, everyone? August 10th. Very good. So I've circled the number 10. Who could tell me what day was it before August 10th? Nine. Very good. August 9th. And that was what day of the week? Um, I can't really see it. It's Sunday. Today Sunday. is Monday. And tomorrow will be what day? Um, Sunday, Monday. What will be tomorrow? Um, Monday. If today is Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Very good. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. So let's start working on our number of the day. Do you remember what it is? It's today's date. It's what? Um, it's the 10. So I'm going to highlight my sticky note and put the number 10 in. Very good. Okay, so how do I know if today's number is an odd or an even number? Who can help me? Well, I can count by twos. Mm -hmm. Two, three, two, no, two, four, six, eight, ten. Very good. So you've counted by twos and you've landed on 10. So it's 10 an odd or an even number? Even. Very good. It is an even number. We can always remember that our even number has a partner, has a friend, and it can help us by counting by twos. That's a great strategy. So let's try to think about what's one more and one less than 10. We can always look at our calendar over here to figure out what is one more and one less than 10. Okay. Can you tell me what is one more and one less than 10? Mm, one more is um, 11. Uh-huh. What's... And one less is nine. Very good. So if we were to count in sequence, we would start with what number? The smallest number, which is nine, nine and then go to 10, ten and 11. Nine. Excellent. Now let's try to think what is 10 more and 10 less than 10. What do you guys think? What's 10 more and 10 less than 10? 10 more is 20. Okay. And 10 less is zero. Very good. All right, yes, 10 more is 20 and 10 less is zero. Now we're going to build our number 10. Are you ready to do that? Uh-huh. All right, let's do that. I'm going to go to my pointer select tool, and you guys can do this when you're working independently, and we're going to build the number 10. Who can think of a way to build the number 10? I see here we have our base 10 blocks and our ones blocks. What's a way that I can make 10? You can put a 10 block down. Uh-huh. Is that 10? Yeah, that's one group of 10. Excellent. So let's move our stars. How many stars should I fill up? 10. A whole box. A whole, one whole box. Very good. Can you count with me? How many so far? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. What's wrong? 10, there you go. Let's fill in this sentence here. Today there is what? There is... How many tens do we have today? How many did you pull? There is one ten. Uh-huh. And zero ones. And zero ones, very good. So we actually have two digits. We have one ten digit. And zero ones. We put those together. It makes what number, everyone? It makes 
our number today, which is 10. Very good. Okay, you guys, we've done, we've built our number. We've talked about tens and ones. Now we're going to get to use some money. I, can, I want you to think of all the ways that you can make 10 with our money. So we have our penny, which is worth how much, everyone? My penny is worth one cent. How about a nickel? A nickel is 10. Are you sure? Check here. What does it say here for nickel? Um, five. Very good. Our dime is worth? 10. And our quarter is? 25. Excellent. Think about a way that you can make 10 using money. You could put it down a dime. You could put a dime. Excellent. Do you have another way that we can make 10 cents with money? Uh-huh. What? You could put two fives down. Two, two nickels? Yep. Together make 10? Excellent. And pennies, you could use about 10 pennies. Okay, you can use 10 pennies. Excellent. What if I use five pennies? Then you have, um, um, you have just five. Five cents. And what else can I add to make it 10? Make as a 10. So we have five. I need five more to make 10. So I can add one more. Nickel. Very good. And now, boys and girls, I have three ways that I've made 10 with money. I've used one dime, two nickels, and five pennies plus one nickel. Three ways to make 10. All right, let's move on to our next thing, which is tally marks. Do you know how much this represents when we have four lines and one line across? Five. Very good. So let's count by five. That's five. Are we at ten yet? Nope. Five. One more. And now how much do I have? Ten. Excellent. And finally, let's try to think of some math equ equations. So... If you have your whiteboard or your piece of paper in your journal, write down a couple of math equations that you can think of to make 10. So I might say one way to make 10 is 10 plus zero. Can someone think of another way to make 10? Um, yes. Go ahead. Five plus five. Yeah, what's another way? Nine plus one. Uh-huh. Oops. you think of another way? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 20 minus 10. Ooh. So you're already using subtraction. Very good. Hold on, I have more. You have more? Tell me some more. 30 minus, 30 minus 20. Wonderful. Have another? Sure. 40 minus 30. Wow. Yes, that also equals 10. Excellent. Wow, we've come up with so many equations to make 10, and we talked about our number 10. Tomorrow, we get to work on what number? 11. And 11 is one more than 10. So I'm going to share a copy of this Google uh, Jamboard for you, and you can work on your own. And then when we come to our class meeting, we can share all of the ways that we made the number 11. Thanks so much for joining me today. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.